the majority who make a pilgrimage to Kathargam and never forget to make a visit to the Yala National Park. But only a few have been fortunate to witness a leopard in the wilderness of Yala. A recent study has shown that the Yala National Park has one of the highest recorded densities of leopards in the world, although this animal is still considered to be endangered. News First Manjula Premaratna visited Yala recently and filed several reports on this endangered animal. Starting from tonight, News First goes deep into the habitat of one of Asia's most elusive big cats. Although Sri Lankans talk about elephants and crocodiles, less is spoken of the leopard which is endemic to Sri Lanka. Leopards are the key attraction at Yala and sometimes it is overcrowded with local and foreign tourists who visit the park mainly to get a glimpse of the elusive big cat. Incidentally, this is the first time in Sri Lankan history that a local news network engaged in such a venture to file a comprehensive documentary on the leopards of Yala. This effort was taken by News First in order to raise awareness among Sri Lankans about this endemic species. The leopard population is believed to be declining in Sri Lanka due to numerous threats including poaching for trade and human leopard conflicts. Last year, a leopard died after being knocked down by a vehicle along the Batiklo Habarana road. In January this year, a leopard was gunned down by a hunter. Recently, three leopard cubs were handed over to the Dehiwala Zoo. But the leopard mother was killed by an individual. Unfortunately, the two cubs did not survive for long. In this backdrop, we at News First decided to visit Yala and learn more about this endangered animal. The ecosystem along the southeastern coastal belt of the country is rich in many diversities. The Zone 1 map of Yala clearly indicates that the Sri Lankan leopard resides at this location. Now we venture into the wilderness of Yala in search of the Sri Lankan leopard. Although many foreign and local tourists have sighted leopards at the Yala National Park, authorities have only spotted 35 leopards so far. Yala is considered as a safe haven for Sri Lankan leopards. Filming leopards in the wild is no easy task. However, our cameras were successful in spotting several Sri Lankan leopards. Tomorrow. Tonight we feature the second leg of our journey into the wilderness of Yala in search of the Sri Lankan leopard. The Sri Lankan leopard is a rarely seen animal at the Yala National Park. According to officials attached to Yala, the ideal time to spot leopards is either in the morning or late at night. Keeping this in mind, the News First team commenced its journey into the Yala National Park at dawn with the hope of getting a glimpse of the elusive big cat. This giant pachyderm was our first hurdle in our quest to film the Sri Lankan leopard. After stopping at this location briefly, we commenced our journey once again. Our driver, Sampak, received a tip-off that a leopard was sighted on top of a rock nearby. He stepped on the gas and we were moving towards said location. Our first sighting of a leopard in Yala was exciting and did send shivers down our spine. Filming this endangered animal in the wilderness of Yala was no easy task.
It was only after we entered Yala that we realized how difficult it was to spot leopards. We were told that some foreigners had taken refuge in Yala for several weeks to get a glimpse of a leopard. Join us again tomorrow as we go deep into the habitat of one of Asia's most elusive big cats. Over the past two days, we showcased the beautiful and endangered Panthera parus cotia, more commonly known as the Sri Lankan leopard. Tonight, we look at the third stage of our foray into the Yala National Forest Reserve in search of these majestic creatures. In order to truly witness the wondrous fauna that roam the Yala Forest Reserve, it is necessary to venture off the beaten track. The heavy rains that persisted during our visit made our journey all the more difficult. Any person that arrives to tour the Yala Reserve must stick to these paths. It is prohibited to step out of the vehicle or to go off-road. Therefore, one would be extremely fortunate if they catch a glimpse of a leopard on the roadside of Zone 1, which spans across an area of over 34,000 acres. The fact that leopards are mainly nocturnal and are not very active during the day is another reason why it is difficult to witness them in their natural habitat. Our team, determined to spot a leopard, sweeped every nook and cranny in Zone 1. Meanwhile, a rumour spread among those touring the forest reserve that a leopard could be seen in the rocky area of Pimburagala. Eager to affirm the truth of this rumour, our driver stepped on the gas and within a few minutes we were at the said location. The leopard, who lay spread out on the rock, raised its head only when it could hear the jeep arriving at the foot of the rock. We decided to maintain a watch here until the cat emerged. Like a mirage, we witnessed a leopard at around noon. We felt that the leopard would not arrive atop this rock as it was as hot as a pan. Believing that the cat would emerge in the evening, we left the area.